Hi folks, I'm Standard Combo, and I'd like to show you how to improve performance in your games by using merged models. In Core, you can select objects to be merged together at runtime, decreasing the time it takes to render the scene each frame. So what are merged models? Well, merged models is a process that takes Git bash models, which are generally made up of lots of different parts, and simplifies them to be more friendly to the CPU and GPU. This merging process is automatic. It's tailored to Unreal's draw pipeline. So what's happening behind the scenes is that geometry from multiple objects are combined into a single set of vertex and index buffers, resulting in one draw call for the whole group. Another piece of the simplification process is to figure out which parts of the object are needed for collision and which ones are needed for rendering. This work of figuring out what goes where is repeated independently for the clients and the server computers, which results in no additional networking cost. So merge models are a trade-off. They gain in speed, but they require more space in the GPU memory. Most normal graphic cards do have enough dedicated memory that this is not an issue. And even in the case of integrated graphics cards, those borrow from the CPU memory, so it's usually also not an issue. The whole merging process happens very fast during the loading time, and usually does not have a noticeable impact on the load times. Draw calls are the instructions to the graphics processing. Draw calls tell the GPU how to render the scene. The problem is that each draw call creates overhead for both the GPU and the CPU, with different objects having different types of draw calls. The overhead for each call is more or less constant, but they all add up, and when you have a lot of them, it drags down the frame rate. Without merged models, there's already a certain level of draw call optimization that happens automatically on the Unreal Engine. For example, scene objects that don't move and share the same material with each other are already batched into a single draw call. However, the merge model tool allows you to manually specify how you want objects to be grouped, even if they have different materials. We can take advantage of our understanding as creators about the specifics of the game that we are building and set up our merge models to make the most sense. So merge models sound great, right? What's the catch? Why not just select entire scene and merge into a single model? The problem is that grouping too many objects over a large area works against another automatic engine system, which is the occlusion system. We'll get back to the best way to set up merge models, but first, let's take a closer look at occlusion. In core, there is a semi-custom version of Unreal's occlusion system, which takes advantage of rendering things that are on the screen and not rendering the things that are outside of sight. When the player changes the position and direction of their camera, Core calculates which objects are inside of the view frustum and only draws those objects. This is a completely automated process and part of every Core game. By merging multiple objects into a single merge model, we're reducing the possibilities for the occlusion system to prevent some of those objects from rendering. The more objects that are merged, the harder it becomes for the occlusion system to eliminate things that are off screen. Too few or a lack of merge models can result in excessive draw calls. Aggressively merging too many objects gets in the way of occlusion, so it's a balancing act. You need to think about how the camera moves throughout your game. The kind of things that you want to merge are the ones that player will usually see grouped together. For example, in a game that's primarily inside of a building, it would make sense to never merge objects that are in different areas separated by walls, but perhaps you want to merge the objects that are room by room. Whereas for a game that's primarily outdoors, it would make more sense to merge the entire building and all the objects that are inside the building into a single merge model. These decisions are highly individual for each game. Most materials in Core will merge without a problem, but there are a number of very advanced special effect materials, some of which cannot be supported by merged models. This happens with materials that require the position of the object to achieve the special effect. If they were merged, they would not look the same because the positional information is lost with the merge operation. In the case of smart materials, those have been in core for a long time and those do work correctly with merge models. Therefore, your choice of materials can have an impact on performance in more ways than one. When this happens and some parts of the merge model cannot be combined, the merge group is still created. At runtime, the sub-objects that have those special materials are automatically excluded from the merge. Merge models are an important addition to Core, and they're powerful and automate some pretty complex operations. The optimizations brought by merge models allow everyone to benefit from the productivity of kit bashing without the penalty of excessive objects and draw calls. 
But as with any tool, it's only as good as how you use it. Have you found cool ways of optimizing your games? Let us know in the comments below. We've got a lot more core tutorials on the way, so please like and subscribe to make sure you never miss a video. Thanks for watching and creating in core.